Hey everybody, this is Oscar Tria, a triple mode stereo VCO with three different types of oscillator in one 10HP module. A stereo VCO with two variable wave shape main oscillators and two subs, plus through zero FM, and hard sync. Tria has a massive stereo swarm oscillator for super saw sounds and more. And finally, a stereo chord engine with 20 chords, each with a variable number of notes spanning up to two octaves. There's a lot to see and hear, so let's get into it. Here we have Oscar Tria with its outputs in orange going to a Foxtrot Duo stereo filter. The output of the filter in yellow is fed through an Alpha Duo VCA ring mod overdrive. For the moment, we'll just open up the filter and the VCA so we can hear the Oscar Tria unprocessed. Let's start with the traditional stereo VCO. To keep the module to 10 HP, the three main knobs are used for all three modes. The page switch selects what the knobs do in each mode. But in all modes, page one does the same thing, shown in white on the panel. You have a control for the wave shape of the oscillators. This can be varied from saw through triangle to square, with pulse width, of course, and a CV input for pulse width modulation. Finally, for page one, there is a master tune knob. The oscillator modes are color-coded, so this traditional VCO is green mode, the swarm oscillator is yellow mode, and the chord engine is orange. The colors on the front panel show you what the page two functions of each knob are in each mode. So in green mode, in page 2, the overall pitch knob becomes the detune for the second main oscillator. The other two controls now mix in a square wave sub-oscillator, an octave below the main oscillator. And a second sub, an octave below that. Normally the 2 volt per octave inputs are just summed together. But in green mode, flipping the CV mode switch converts the right-hand input to linear through 0 FM. In this mode, AUX CV1 controls the wave shape mix. And AUX CV2 is the hard sync input. There's also an octave switch. Let's make some more interesting sounds. I'll just put text up on the screen to describe the patch so you don't have to hear me talk.
Okay, let's listen to the swarm oscillator. The white page one controls are the same as before. So as well as super saw, we can get super square and vary the pulse width. But in page two, we can now control the number of oscillators in the swarm. Around 10 o'clock, you have six to eight oscillators. So this is around the same number as a Roland Super Saw. At full, there are 24 oscillators spread across the two stereo outputs. And you can add in a sub. That's a pretty big sound. Detune doesn't make sense in this mode, so the control becomes a true stereo pan with CV control from AUX2. So for instance, if you want a mono swarm, just pan to one channel. Or, better still, use one of our modules downstream and just switch them to mono. Once again, let's have a quick listen to the patch. Finally, orange mode, the chord engine. This control selects which chord Tria plays. And you can also control how many notes of the selected chord you hear. Detune works as before. Aux CV2 can be used to select the chord. As with the other modes, Aux CV1 usually controls the wave shape, but flipping the CV mode switch changes it to controlling the note spread. You can just play the chords, of course. Or you can sequence which chord Tria plays. So that's Oscar Tria, three great sounding oscillator types in one 10HP module.